All right, we got a battle of the the microscopic characters in Marvel Puzzle Quest. Well, man, also in comics as well. We got Ant Man and the Wasp, though it's not the Wasp that you're thinking of, an Apostar Wasp. Ant Man is a purple, blue, and yellow user, and he's at five five five. This riding stinking cheating hyena he doesn't have the jam man he just doesn't have the jam but anyway purple ability pin particles cost nine it creates a trap tile that will at the start of each of ant-man's turns will create purple attack tiles so depending upon the level that you have purple it could be somewhere between two to three tiles with you know with varying strength and then while that purple trap tile is out if you collect nine more purple the ability grow can be used and what grow will do it will remove the trap tile that's on the board and then deal massive damage to the target his yellow i mean well we'll talk about his yellow ability and then we'll We'll jump back to the blue ability. The yellow ability, Ants, 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 cost seven. It creates some number of, yeah, of red countdown tiles on the board. Because I always remember, this is a yellow ability that puts red, red tiles on the board. And as long as those countdown tiles are on the board, they will do damage to whoever's out in front at the start of each turn do, you know varying amounts of damage and then when the countdown tiles reaches zero they'll create strike tiles on the board on i want to say yellow yellow as what well, as well i keep forgetting how the yellow how the yellow portion was like what tiles what strike tiles get on what color I forget that there and the strike tiles are pretty strong since this that's at level 5 too and the, and then his blue ability it uh, small town crooks cost 9 just like pin particles the purple ability so what this does it creates a a countdown tile of varying length and while the counter tiles on the board, it will steal some number of strike, attack, and protect tiles. You know, depending upon the length of the the countdown tile, it could steal one. It could steal. I think the max is two, but it'll, then it'll just steal them. And then when the countdown tile reaches zero, you know, it'll stop the steal. Pause. And um, and also too, it has a has a component, a grow component as well. That if you get nine in blue, is that you can you know destroy the countdown tile, and also the protect. I mean the um, the trap tile of pen particles. So you still should that be on the board as well? It'll destroy those two there, and then inflict massive damage. Uh, Ant-Man obviously is Heroes, Avengers, and Team Cap. Alright, then we got old Janet Van Dyne, one of the leaders of the Avengers here. And mine is a shade under 250, so she, she's at three, 349 yellow blue and black user her yellow ability cost five pretty cheap is a if there are no strike strike or protect tiles that that are on the board that belong to us then she'll create a strike and a protect tile on the color red of varying strength but if there are strike or protect tiles that are on the board they'll get 
flipped into the opposite type. So if you have a strike tile on the board, it will come from a protectile and vice versa. And she'll increase the strength of those that tile by varying amounts. Her blue ability is a passive. I think you need six AP to get it started. It, it again, it depends on where you have her blue ability set at. So it might start at eight, start at seven, or start at six, whatever the case may be. But she'll create a countdown tile on a random color at the start of each turn. If it's if that tile is matched away by the opponent, they'll get dealt a little bit of damage. If the countdown tile resolves and disappears and reappears on another tile, you're gonna steal AP in whatever color that that countdown tile landed on. So if the countdown tile happens to be on green, she'll steal AP out of out of the opponent's green AP pool. And then it'll probably switch to another color like purple or whatever the case might be. But it, but you're constantly going to be stealing AP from the opponent as long as that. As long as A, you have the counter tile on the board and you're also not draining your blue AP. And then finally, her black ability, this costs 8. You say it does damage to the target, but if you have the the conditions met for AP which I think it's six it's either six or seven depending upon the levels it'll also stun for for one turn all right for lesser equipped lesser equipped wasp as I gotta take that boost off you're gonna want to boost blue you're gonna want to boost black yellow I mean you can but but that's only only if you're in a in a healthy enough position to where you can is it where, where Ant-Man isn't stealing all of his tiles but chase blue chase black deny purple at all costs because his attack tiles are gonna hurt you a little bit uh, blue as long as you don't put yellow out on the board blue is just pretty much inconsequential and you know also deny yellow as well because ants 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 it does hurt a little bit. Alright, and as we always do, once the uh, once a match is made, commentary will be off until uh until we're done. Man, Ant-Man was literally about to, about to mess me up for real with the uh, with the growth. I didn't realize he had got enough enough purple AP to do that there, but. That's the crash there. And as we always do, we always thank our alliance for playing. We also like to take a look at some of the rewards that we're, we're possibly getting within the next next few days to get another Professor X cover, which will add a champion level to him. 
and it looks like a heroic 10 pack too that's that's the um the one with the three stars because the regular two stars just a regular heroic heroic pack all right uh finally we'll look at wasp herself we'll talk a little bit about her and who to pair her up with so the thing i like about wasp i i love that buzzing sound or blue ability as you saw in the fight you know it had a few times to activate you know it was still an ap here or there but it wasn't still an ap and the colors that i wanted to steal in which was purple per se and plus two it would have gotten rid of that per um that trap tile too uh wasp thing i like the ability too but unless you get the stun portion off which i kind of did as you saw at, at 349 you know that took that took what two-thirds of ant-man's health off so what is it seven thousand seven thousand damage and you gotta have at least eight blue ap well uh, again you can do that there with wasp Tactical intuition again, you know, it's a decent ability, you know, if you if you're rolling with guys that they use protect tiles a lot, you know, you can flip them into strike tiles, or if you're facing with folks they have strike tiles, you can flip them and do protect tiles, though I mean if you're using battery bill, you know, you're probably not gonna be able to get that buzzing sound off that many times anyways unless Unless you get like massive blue cat, well, well, cascades that hit into your protectiles. Now, as far as people to pair wasp up with um, the old standby Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, and Medusa, and the idea behind that is you're gonna try and get wasp to generate. Well, I mean, to, you're going to get enough yellow to activate Wasp. Um, her yellow ability to make some strike and protect tiles. Well, strike and protect tile. Alright. Then you can either match Medusa's entanglement tile. Or you can, you can gain enough blue AP for that buzzing sound. And then every time her countdown tower reaches zero, Carol's executive um, executive decision passive activates, which strengthens any of those tiles that's on the board. And you can see how how deadly that that was way back in the day. Now again, not so much, you know, because you have characters that are like the time that it takes to get that team started they're probably chewing through a good majority of your health you know um I'm trying to figure out who else did i pair wasp up with but it was mainly her mainly her and carol and then like if you wanted wanted even more more stronger strike or protect tiles i guess you could go with nico minoru because again nico will be buffing every turn carol will be buffing every turn well once conditions are met of course and i think that's yeah that's definitely gonna do it with the uh with the crash because i don't want to hold holding anybody any longer than what need needs to be done and we got old Spider-Man and Jessica Drew coming up next within the next, as of recording, four days and ten hours. Um, so yeah. So normally I would do, you know, PvP action, but I'm not gonna try and try and do all that there because again, I'm still still a bit under the weather, but. But I'll make it up to all of y'all with uh, simulator action starting next week, probably 
We'll probably do it uh, either Monday or Tuesday because we only got, what, five days? Well, a week left in the season, so there you go. So you'll see me you'll see me come with the simulator. We'll talk about talk about teams and all that there, how to, you know, count, how to do all that there. So tomorrow is welcome to show with rhino so we'll do the the deep breakdown with him uh i don't know if i'm going to be able to get any pvp action with him i don't know because because again with the simulator and all that there like oh you know so um i'll do my due diligence i'm gonna do the rhino stuff off cam but you guys will see the simulator and I think that's going to prop, well, I know that's definitely going to be it. I was trying to think, was there any other thoughts that I had to have? Mm, if there are, they can be saved until the next video. Uh, you know, do all the YouTube stuff. Be an excellent human being. Be kind to your fellow human beings. And a shout out to the, to the homies in Ukraine. Hope y'all stay safe. Is I even though I'm I'm way over here, you no, know, we're thinking about you.